Hello everyone. Welcome to this online course on rocket propulsion. This particular course was uh, offered in the last semester and it will be rerun for the second time in January 2021. In this introductory video, I will provide a brief overview of the course. We have uh, two instructors and one teaching assistant for this course. Uh, lead instructor is Professor K. Ramamurthy who has formerly served as a visiting professor at IIT Madras. I am the other instructor. My name is uh, Nagabhushan Rao and I am working as an assistant professor at Aerospace Engineering Department at IIT Madras. Anand is a PhD student at IIT Madras in the Department of Aerospace Engineering. He will be your teaching assistant for this course. Over the next few minutes, I will give a brief introduction of what this rocket propulsion course is all about, provide some information on the mode in which the lectures and assignments will be conducted, and give some details on the prerequisites required for this course, the intended audience who can take the course and what they would gain from it. As the title of the course suggests, rocket propulsion concerns propelling or pushing satellites, space capsules and other objects in space. We will therefore define what uh, space is and then infer how to push these satellites into different orbits around the celestial bodies. Subsequently, we will derive the rocket equation and then go into the details of uh, how to stage the rockets and also discuss why we have to stage these rockets. We will look at different types of rockets in detail and different fuels or propellants used in these rockets. We will also cover the working principles of uh, solid propellant rockets, liquid and cryogenic propellant rockets, hybrid rockets and electric rockets and the way they are used in space. In addition, we will discuss principles and operation of some critical components like uh, nozzles, pumps, feed systems, injectors, which are used in rockets. So this uh, three credit course runs for 12 weeks and has 36 video lectures. Three lectures would be uploaded every week. You have to go through these lectures. It helps if you prepare some short notes for yourselves while watching these lectures. Based on these three video lectures, you will be given an assignment every week so that the learning will become much more effective. Uh, the assignments have to be submitted online and they will be graded. In case you have any doubts or feel something is not clear, you can always interact with the teaching assistant identified for this course or with the instructors. A specific time would be allotted uh, two or three times a week for this purpose. The last time this course was conducted, we had excellent interactions with the students and the assignments were done very well by the students. There would be a final examination um, mo online, most probably in the last week of April. There are always certain prerequisites required to register for any course. This course is at the level of third or fourth year uh, BTEC program and the prerequisites uh, required for this course are quite minimal. We expect some knowledge of uh, mechanics involving Newton's laws of motion and some basic thermodynamics such as the first and second laws of thermodynamics and good fundamentals of physics and chemistry. However, during the course, whenever required, we shall revisit some of these basics. We will build uh, any complex concepts starting from the basic, from the first principles. So as I mentioned, uh, this course is meant for third and fourth year uh, uh, BTEC students in aerospace, mechanical, chemical and electrical engineering, MTech students and research scholars who specialize in thermal propulsion or energy engineering will also find this course to be quite useful. Uh, the course is also beneficial to the professionals uh, from ISRO, DRDO, HAL and other uh, associated aerospace industries and also to any youngsters who are uh, proposing or are passionate on startups on rocketry and satellites. So this course lays the basic foundation in rocket propulsion. At the end of the course, you will be able to understand and appreciate the concepts behind uh, designing rockets. You will become uh, familiar with the basic tools to develop uh, a preliminary design of the rocket component or a system. Uh, you will develop the necessary skill set to troubleshoot problems that arise in the development of rockets. Finally, the course provides uh, the basic platform for those who are interested to pursue research in this area. After this course, you can also take some advanced courses to specialize on certain topics or you can pick some fascinating topics in uh, rocket propulsion for your research. Some of the active uh, uh, research areas which you can further investigate and contribute to are uh, combustion instabilities in propulsion systems, advanced propulsion techniques, computational schemes for flow and heat transfer, 
uh, fluent heat transfer prediction in say rocket nozzles and their interaction with the structures. So with that brief introduction, uh, we welcome you to this uh, fascinating online course on uh, rocket propulsion. Thank you.